Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Instagram DM reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling the Lapsang Sushi on the Earl Grey? The Scalding Hot Assam? What is the tea? Mmm, delish. Hello, today we're back for a brand new Instagram DM reaction video. My arm is healing nicely. It's still a little bit peeling in places, so it still kind of looks a bit gross, but that's doing well. So thank you for following me over on Instagram. Come send me things to react to if you're not following me over there. Come join the fun and maybe you can be in the next video. Also, don't forget, starting next week, I will be doing some live reactions over on Twitch. I'm going to be doing some live reactions multiple times a week. So come follow me over on Twitch. Rolly West over there. Come join the Twitch family. Today we're going through some of your Instagram DMs and hopefully it's something disgusting. Hopefully some disgusting things. Things that are triggering. Some odd piercings. Maybe a fan art. Maybe some memes. I never know what I'm going to get in these videos. But like button. Subscribe. Notification bell. Let's not be around the bush eh, and get on with these Instagram DMs. <sighs> Oh, I'm squatting for Jesus already. So this is from Mickey the Bod. The worst piercing fell from my country. They're speaking Afrikaans and the guy says, oh, I dropped the ice. Last line is look at your pretty new piercing. What is it about lemons? What is there sound? There's probably sound, isn't there? Yeah, what is it about lemons? <laughs> well, there's music in the background, but I didn't get away with this. Why lemons? Imagine putting like citric acid in a new piercing. Could you imagine anything worse? Death. Oh, stupid. Oh, God. The, the, the dirt, There's the, the, the level of unclean, like the level of unclean in this is just like, screams and unclean. What are they doing with the, what are they doing? Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, I don't like this at all. This is disgusting. <laughs> and that was how he died. Where did this where did this thing come from lemons? Like where did this thing about lemons come from? Citric acid in a new piercing is not a good idea. Why lemons? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Lemons in my hole. Good heavens! Oh! So this is from Hegatia. I think someone say your name and you sent me this. What? Oh, wow. oh God, it's like caught in your like braces. Lisa needs braces. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, how did that happen? What were you doing to get that? Oh, no. What did you do? How did that happen? Oh, I was too drunk. I've never really got my piercing stuck. For I remember I met Jodie Harsh a long time ago. I mean, we're talking like 2015 and I gave her a hug and my earrings got caught in her wig. She was a drag queen. That was quite embarrassing. And we was like, we like, she went turn around quick. We all sort of like turn around, shuffled together. She like untangled it. That's the only time I ever really got my piercing caught in anything. The idea that got caught in your teeth. Like, how did that happen? How did that happen? How did it happen? Remember that girl we saw a long time ago where she got her like tongue piercing caught in her like braces? Oh gosh. I can imagine your orthodontist is like, don't have piercings in your lip when you've got braces, girl. He's gay. I'm sure all of your dentists and orthodontists have rainbow fans. So we're just gonna do the needs oh. Yes, hello girls, yeah. You might feel a little bit of stinging. Oh. Yes, oh, now we're gonna put in a filling. Oh. And now we're gonna do a dental dam. <laughs> A dental dub. Okay, so. This man is known as Diablo Prado, a wow. Brazilian tattoo artist that has taken body. God, it's another black alien project. Screen. Not only is his body covered in ink, he has cut off part of his nose, making. Him oh, it looks so hot. I hate it. The world to do so, but he didn't stop there. He also cut off both of his ears and removed one of his ring fingers. Oh God, he removed like a hand. finger. Settle down, ladies. He has large bumps all over his head and has implanted horns on his forehead. This just looks so horrible it like it, this part just looks you have a nose for a reason like it just i don't know like while he's always been into tattoos this journey of his really only started when he met his wife carol who specializes in the art of body modification michael says the idea is for me to become her masterpiece what Wait, what? I don't like the sound of that. I want to become her masterpiece. Like you're not doing it because you want it. You're doing it because she wants to do it too. Hmm, that gives me bad vibes. You were never this modified until you met your partner and then you started doing it because she was a body modder and now you want to become her master. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, obviously I cannot make this as fact, but that sounds like you are being like almost coerced or forced into doing this 
because your wife does it and you're kind of wanting to please like that you want to be her masterpiece and you've like cut off your nose and your ears and you've like it just oh that last bit that last part gave me the quite strong ick like that last bit oh like if you honestly want to do this stuff cut your nose off cut your ears off all that thing like you live your life but and when you start like removing fingers and making yourself like making it harder for your life i don't know there's a funny line where i'm like when you cross it i'm like you should maybe it's like is something going on I don't, again you can't diagnose people a lot of that story then gave me bad vibes okay so what is this so this person has oh god there's blood so i couldn't put the blood oh oh god oh so basically this person did a home industrial piercing and now their ear is like getting infected and swelling and did they put the piercing back in why did they put the piercing in the top back in oh god oh god it gets what oh god it's getting worse oh no <gasps> Oh, it's awful. Ah, uh, disgusting. I have to blur that. That's too much blood and pus coming out. No. Oh, God. Wow. See, this is the risk you take when you do these kind of piercings at home. Obviously, not everyone's going to have this, but there is a risk. The fact that this is a risk that you could have should ultimately outweigh the need for you to get these. Like, that was bad. Like, that was bad. It's not worth the risk, so don't do it, girl. It's not worth the risk, so don't do it, girl. Do you ever shut up? So, this is from Anubis, and they have said, a baby with double nose piercings? What? This is absolutely vile. I hope this is a joke. Like, I wish this is a joke. This is literally a newborn baby with, with double nose piercings on each side. Disgusting. It's just disgusting. Like, it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I really do say jest, don't I? So, a little while ago, my friend Aaron tweeted me going like, Oh, but you do say the word jest instead of just, and it's just hit me then. I, it's just hit me then that I do. Oh! Maybe people in Devon say jest and it's just gone into my mind. Devonshire people, do you say jest? Just. Okay, it's just. Just. Get it in your mind, Roly. Just. I'm a snob as well and I say posh words. So why I would choose to say jest over just when just sounds a lot more posh than jest. Just. Okay, so this is from Sinead. What What is this? So, ugh. Oh, is this one of those ridiculous, I'm going to tattoo someone's bite mark in me. Oh, why do people do this? Like, it's so unclean. It's so unclean. It's so unclean. Oh, I just don't understand why. Like, why? I get people like weird stuff, but to me, this is just like very, like, almost serial killer vibes. I love her teeth. I want to wear her teeth as a necklace. Like, it doesn't even look good. Like, if you want, it's also, this is like the tattoo artist. Like, are they together? Like, who is the tattoo artist? Is it like a random person? But like, can you imagine you, like, using your teeth on the stencil? Your teeth is the stencil. <clears throat> That's just disgusting. Just. It's just disgusting. Vile. I would just never understand it. Like, again, couple tattoos and all that stuff. I said in my last video, I hate couple tattoos. I think they're a bit cringe. But like, to do something like this is weird. Okay, so I've also been sent the body silicone. Ew, what is, what are they doing? Ugh, what are they doing? What is that? There's music in the background, by the way. Da, 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 I've got gout. So, wait, what? Oh, that's disgusting. What are they doing? Who wants an... This isn't even five-minute craft. This is called Phantom Bonehead. <laughs> sure, why not? This is under a Reddit called Why. DIY. Maybe I need to do that for my little things on uh, Instagram, on uh, Twitch. So, they're cut why, why are they cutting out a can? What? Are they making a phone? Why are they cut... What are they doing? I'm really confused what they're doing. Why are they putting a bit of me- Does that help signal boosting or something? That is so gross. Why would you want that as an- Oh! Oh, and they're piercing the ear! Well, at least they didn't use a piercing gun. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's disgusting! Oh, it gives me the ick. Ick, 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 ick. That was gross. Oh, it's disgusting! Oh, I hate it! I hate all those things. They're vile. Absolutely vile. I was disgusting. I was disgusting. I was disgusting. So this is from Val and they've sent me this. When your co-worker to ask for a gentle touch. Wait, what? What? Oh, oh God. A little tiny hand. Sh <laughs> what? Oh, beat, beat. This needle has clearly already been pushed through. 
and they're just using this. They've obviously pushed it through other outside of it and they've just put their hands in just to make the funny video. Like if they were actually pushing this through with the hands, it would be insane. But like it clearly had already been pushed through and then they're just pushing the bar through. It's probably not the cleanest thing to do and I would always advise against it. But like their piercers in a piercing shop, sure, whatever. Like live your laugh girl. I'm not always killjoy person that was actually kind of funny <laughs> okay so this is from jack hey, and they have sent me this what is this oh hey didn't see you there. hello so you got a nasty nose ring infection i'm gonna help you stop that you don't have an infection First, what i do is i take some um peroxide so hydrogen peroxide i take my nose ring out carefully it always makes hydrogen peroxide isn't it stuff you like I'm dye your hair with and let it soak and get all the gunk off of it Wait, now what? I'm you shouldn't use hydrogen peroxide, peroxide on an infected piercing. Outside and the inside of my nose ring hole. Is that going to dry your skin out like really badly? Now I'm putting it back in. This part's hard. Here I am crying. If you've got an infected again. piercing as well, I'm like you shouldn't be using clothes. nails. Like you shouldn't have your nails like that. Here, I'm crushing up some bare ass brims, whatever I can find. Now I'm adding some neosporin to it and mixing it together to make a little paste. Just on the table like that? You're crushing up? What are you... Okay, wait, there, wait, wait, there, there, wait, there was so much, there was so much wrong with that. Hang on. Yeah, like here it says, don't use hydrogen peroxide on alcohol, which can slow the healing. I've always thought this because like it dries the skin up. It makes it really difficult. Hang on. Let me, let me keep looking to see. Is hydrogen peroxide good for treating infected piercings? The short answer is no. Hydrogen peroxide will not cure your piercing infection and it's not ideal piercing cleanser either. Cleaner either, sorry. It's best to avoid using harsh chemicals like hydrogen peroxide or alcohol to clean your piercing because it will risk of drying out your skin and delaying the healing process exactly. I told you so, Leslie. You just said you want to put aspirin on your piercing, which, yes, you can use aspirin for uh, minimalizing, like, piercing bumps. This person put some sort of, like, cream with it. I don't know what he, they put with it, but, like, for me, you put, like, a little dissolvable aspirin in, like, a shot glass. You drop in some, like, saline. You just kind of mix it up, make it into a paste, and then you put it onto your piercing and leave it overnight. And a lot of the time it works. It works for me, at least if I've ever got piercing bumps. But the fact that this person just put it on like a counter, which didn't look like it had been cleaned, and then just crushed it up with the back of a nail polish pot, and then just like rubbed it on there and then put like, do not do that. Like, don't do that. That's so unclean. Actually dissolve it. Use dissolvable aspirin in a shot glass, pop a few drops of saline, let it dissolve into like a paste, and then you can put it on. That's, it's so unclean. So there's from Gabriella. Oh, what? What? Wait, that has to be stuck on. That's not real, is it? That's not... Six skulls... That has to be... Wait, that can't have been real, was it? Closure! Oh my god, it's actually piercing. They actually did it as piercings. Are you joking? <gasps> they actually did them. It, like, that wasn't even just stuck on. Like, it, they did actual, like, ten piercings on the... They can't have kept that afterwards, surely. Your lip must have been like a balloon afterwards. Like, wow. What? How have they presented this like some sort of intro to a TV show? It is artistic. Artistic? Certainly. I'm actually speechless. Like, speechless. The woman was too stunned to speak. This is. Why would you do this? I mean, I get for a photo, but like, surely, like, they didn't actually keep all of these piercings because your lip would swell so much. Oh, wow. Jesus. Don't make her laugh. Don't make her open her mouth or she's ripping that. Oh, wow. Just imagine one little thing and she goes, ah, and like, rips her lips open. Rips her lips. She's ripping the lips. Go. Rippy, lippy, whippy, sippy. I've got gouts. Like, I can't. Sure. What can I do to make you love me? What can I do to make you care? What can I say when it's all over? What can I do to get you there? So this is from Psychedelic Princess. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Wait, why is- Wait, did, did she put lipstick over the- Lipstick? Lipstick in my white Valentino bag! <laughs> did they put lipstick over the top of their piercing just so it didn't look like it was- What's the- I want the piercing here, but I don't want anyone to see it, so I'm gonna cover it in lipstick, the same shade of my lip. It's a, like a, a vertical array piercing, but it's like so thin. Thin. Oh, skin inspiration. Um, I just. Skin inspiration? I want your skin. Give me your skin. I'm leather face. I'm leather puff. I'm, do you know, I'm more confused by the fact that they put lipstick over the top of it rather than. So it almost looks like you've got like a spot on your lip rather than the actual piercing being like rejecting this so thin under the skin. So Psychedelic Princess also sent me this. Wow. 
I mean, this is probably the most intense piercing play we've actually seen. Like, look how many. Like, obviously, I'm not going to bother trying to count up here all day. But, like, this like this is over 100, clearly. But, like, wow. Wow. Oh, God. I always say, I, it just gives me wasteful vibes. It just gives me wasteful vibes. It just feels wasteful. No, it just feels wasteful. It just, just... Just dance, it's gonna be okay. Da da do do, just die. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe that Ollie London, Mr. Botox Juvederm Facelift Pussy Lips, is the face now of the right wing transphobia. Like, you're telling me this is what men should be. He's out here telling us what men should be and he looks like this. The most least masculine looking, presenting, acting. I'm not trying to take the piss out of femme. Obviously I'm incredibly femme. Like I don't really consider myself that masculine, but like I would never take on the role of like, this is what a man looks like this. Like, because obviously I'm not a horrific misogynistic transphobe. This wind tunneled pullback like fucking cat lady faced man like is is the face of the transphobic movement unhinged how any of them take him seriously i will never understand so i was also sent this so what is oh god are they literally as their sound was it music there's no sound okay so that so they've just had a, a little single piercing and now he's they're stretching up to oh for god's sake i mean it's not the same person we normally see it do this is a completely new person I just don't understand how it's still happening. Like, how is this still happening? Things like this, like, this is awful. Like, really bad. God's sake. It's so bad. It's, I just don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, your ear's gonna rip. How, you, if you are someone who does this, you are not a professional piercer. You are not a professional piercer if you do this kind of stuff. It's so bad. Wow. I mean, we don't get as much of a view of the back like the other one did. Because remember the other one we've seen in the stretch? You could see the ear had ripped. Wow, that's so big. From like nothing to that. Just get a dermal punch at six. If you want a six millimeter hole straight away, just get a dermal punch. Do what I did with my conch piercing. Just get a dermal punch. So this is from Val. Oh God, what the hell is that? Oh my. Have you ever seen something so horrific? Look at this. Look at it. What the hell? Oh. I feel sick. So they've got a snake eye piercing, but like it's like bent the, t it's not like through the surface as if like it was like a surface bar, but it's like gone underneath the tongue out here, out and then in again. Was this, is this just grown out in the middle or something? And then this has been left and it's made the tongue bend like that? Or like, was it pierced like that? I'm really confused. Was this many? Oh, I don't understand. Cause their tongue's like bent, like, mm, put the other way around. How? How? A wizard did it. The caption here says, done by a pro whose only response was, let me do it again. How about no? Okay, so I was also sent this. Wait, wait, what, what? So, okay, so they're doing a dermal piercing? What's happening? Is it dermal piercing? Did you do dermal piercing? That didn't, that doesn't really feel like very much of like actually lining up to try to make, what? What's happening? What, what did they do? Wait, what? Now they've got dimples. What? What was that? Wait, what? What? I'm so, this is really weird lining up by the way. There was no, like, surely if you're gonna measure things like this, you would use like an actual like surgical ruler. Like you would use an actual ruler to do it. Like the fact that this person just kind of was just like, uh, like there was no like measuring. It was just, I'm gonna draw like this. Like that didn't feel right anyway. But like, then there's some kind of string inside. Like what are they do? What? What is this? And it gives them dimple? It looks, doesn't they? The dimples look too sharp though. It looks too like pinpoint dimples. It didn't look real. Like the, the, the whole, like whatever process you did that, the dimples were too sharp. So it looks a bit straight, like a pause opened up. So it doesn't actually look like a dimple. I don't understand what just happened then. Someone needs to comment down below, please. If you know, if you're a, a dimpleologist, I don't even know what you would even call this kind of person. What was, what just happened? I need someone to tell me what just happened. So this is from Ronnie. So, oh God, oh, get right in that nose, girl. God. Oh, is this going to be one? Oh. I just, I mean, we've seen people do this kind of stuff before. I personally just don't understand. Oh, stop. I just personally don't understand like 
the need for it to be so fast. There is like a golden speed to do it. You don't want to do it too slow and you don't want to do it too fast. Like if you're gonna do it really fast, you definitely, definitely lose a lot of the precision and control that you have. Like anything in life, any kind of work, you do anything too fast and you you slowly lose a lot of the control that you have over situations because you need to be able to look and know what you're doing. When you just go, Ugh! Like, it's very easy to go wrong if you're just going to do that. I wouldn't go to someone who does that. Oh, what is this caption? My dad is not happy. My dad is not happy. Dad. Then why did you take your babies to get your ears pierced at Claire's with a piercing gun? And they go, I'm not happy, moron. Again, it's more of these people piercing their baby's ears at a ridiculously long, young age for no reason. There's literally no reason to do it. And then the fact that they're saying the dad's upset about it. Like, well, don't get it done then. Don't get it done then. You are a parent of the child. Like, you could easily say, we're not doing this. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so what, oh, what's, what's this? Oh no, are they gonna? Well, of course you would, I guess you were, if you're gonna get a Prince Albert piercing, you would need a tube down it, wouldn't you? Cause this, <gasps> Oh God, I didn't even think about that. You would need to have like a relatively thick tube down your urethra to cat the, get to get the needle. That is a really thick one. Would you really get it pierced at that thick? Wow. Oh, I hate the, oh. I mean, I'm glad that I've never actually seen it get done, obviously, but like, it's the idea though. Like the, the, the fact that you would need like this rather thick tubing down your urethra, sounding, you shut your dirty mouth, down your urethra in order to feed the needle through to make sure it doesn't pierce like through the top part. Oh God, I would never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever gonna get my dick pierced. Also more for like, not even just the pain. I've never heard positive stories about penis piercings and then urinating afterwards without the urine being just like spraying out everywhere because of the hole. Oh, I just don't, I know. You only get one of them. So like, imagine it getting infected and there's something really bad with it. I just, I, no, hate it. Okay, so I've been sent. What is this? Wait, what? So this person's got like. Why are they burning it? Why are they burn? I guess I get rid of the phrase. They've got like corset piercings on their arm. Wow. I feel like they weren't real. I feel like they were. They were hoops that were like stuck on. I feel like they're stuck on the skin because they look. They like. They just. They look too like clean and like healed and perfect. Like there's no redness. I feel like they're stuck on. You can't fool me. Okay, so what is this? I felt something really weird behind my ear. Oh, what the hell is it going to? Is it like a spider? Oh no, there's a. Oh, sure. Are we really surprised it's a butterfly clip? Are we really surprised? God, do I pop it? No, don't pop it. You need to take that earring out. Also, don't be touching this round with your bare fingers like that. You need to make sure you've scrubbed your hands. Ah, uh, poppy, whoppy. So this is from Haley K, and they have sent me this. What the hell is this? Lamar Odom gets kicked out of court after telling Judge Chloe smells like earring backs down there. Okay, so what? Oh my god, what kind of needle? <gasps> oh, I'm, am I gonna have to? Oh, I'm gonna have to blur that. I'm sorry. Like, I can show piercings going on, but like, this is like really invasive on their face. That is so. Okay, that needle. So put a dermal ankle. That, that hole is gonna be way too big. That is gaping. She's a gaper. Do you wanna look at my gaping orifice? I beg your pardon. Oh. That is gonna be way too big. Like, if you're not gonna use, yeah, that, so that thickness of the needle was way too big to do the dermal. Like, if you're gonna do that, you wanna use like a, like, again, like a little, the dermal punches, little tiny dermal punches. Or if you're gonna use a needle, you need a thinner needle. That needle was so thick, like the hole that the bar is gonna sit in, then it's gonna be massive. That's just gonna come out. Like, that was way, that, that, that needle was way too thick. That needle was way too thick for that dermal. That was way too thick for that dermal anchor. No, 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 no. Okay, so what, this is from Elizabeth. Uh, this, so what? Music, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Music, I'm going to jail for copyright infringement. Guess I better not drop the soap. Let's try this again, shall we? So this person's getting a, ugh. Oh my God, what's with the nail? Why is her nails like black? And she push, those, those eyelashes, the eyebrows, they're so, no, what? Oh God. Oh, that was bad. Like, that was bad. Come on, that was bad. Bad. Bad pissings, bad pissings. What they gonna do? What they gonna do when they get infected? Bad pissings, bad pissings. Shut up! Trigger warning needles. This person is what are doing a bridge piercing. Oh, God. No, don't be silly. Oh, oh it looks all... 
Hang on. The way this skin, I don't think this is real. This looks like they've put that sort of like uh, fake skin over it. There's like a, I can't remember, it's like spirit gum or something. They've put that over there to like, oh no, see that doesn't look real. I feel like you've used some sort of fake skin and then pushed that through. Because if that is real. Electric chair. Okay, so this is actually from someone who says they want to remain anonymous. It says, hi, Rodi, please keep me anonymous for this submission because I personally know this person. Oh, God. Hope you didn't watch my videos. She got a couple's tattoo with her boyfriend. After a few months, they split up less than six months later. Of course they did. Of course they did. Be warned, the longer you look at it, the worse it gets. Oh, go on then. <gasps> King and queen. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it's so cringe. Like, it's not even a good tattoo. I hate couple tattoos. I think it's it's just a bit naff. And to me, it always like, to me, it just seals the deal of the relationship. Like, no matter how much I love someone, I would never get the name, anything related to both of us. But that one thing to me just sounds like a bad omen. King and queen. And it's like, with a crap. It's just cringe. Like, it's just cringe. And they broke up. They're really young. They're doing couple tattoos really young. And of course they broke up. Of course they did. Ugh. Like, seriously, you live your life, girl. If you want couple tattoos, you do it. But honestly, I would just stay away from them because, like, you don't want to end up like this. Like, please, please, please think what you're doing. So I've also been sent this. Oh, wow. How did I, I can't I, don't, I feel like we may have seen this before I think I forget if I see things on my own or I've put things in videos sometimes but like wow look at this like blood blisters on these lip rings like first of all like take the rings out and put straight like flat like straight barbells in them like flat back you know librette bar bars because it's so angry that it's putting pressure you've got like a pus ball here I want to know what happened to make this you know make it this bad this this whole thing is like bad vibes like seriously take these hoops out put actual Le Bray bars in there that are long enough that it's not going to be eaten. So this is from Melissa and they've said for a react video and they've sent me an Instagram. Let's see what it is. Okay, so what is this? So, ooh, dirty paper clips. What, what's happening? What's happening? Very blue, Peter. Okay, so, oh no, oh, I hate it. Oh, what? No, stop it. Uh, stop it. Uh, Stop mucking about. Stop messing about. Oh, I hate it. There's something about like subdermal implants, like actual silicone implants underneath the skin, especially on the hands, because it feels so unnatural because like it's such a thin part of your skin and, f and a flat area as well. To have it like protruding so much, especially when it's just kind of like that. If it's like a shape of something, I don't feel like it makes me cringe so much. But like when it's something like this and it's just a gaping hole, like... It just makes me cringe a bit. Does that not make you cringe? No. So I was also sent this. Wow. Like, uh, how do you get a septum piercing that wrong? Like, that is, that is, that's, I've heard, that, 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 you are someone else. I've heard, like, I've seen piercings gone wrong. How? Like, I also have someone. Is it called a DVA septum? I'm not sure what the name is, but, like, when, like, there's a bit of your septum that kind of, like, sticks out. Like, I have this on my nose. On my septum but underneath, I have this bump here. But, like, I, my septum sits nicely at the front of my nose here. There's no sort of bend or anything. It sits nicely at the front. What's happening? Make it make sense. Oh, my God. My tongue ripped. And this is like someone had a... Stop getting these piercings. Who are doing all these? Who are doing it? Who are doing it? Piercing girls. Who is doing them? Who is doing them? Who is doing them? And whoever's doing them should stop. So this is from Alex and they've sent me this. This is the greatest feeling in the world is knowing that he he wanted me to hold his hand. Squeeze me, but you don't move. Squeeze me. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it's just a bit cringe, isn't it? I mean, this is a very, this is a very strong reaction. <laughs> Can we stop using these piercing guns? Like, why? Have these videos taught nothing? <laughs> no. <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay, so this says, sorry I cropped out one of your videos. I just want to ask you this. Is the person walking behind Luxera Callum or hey, a ghost? Like, what? You have to, you have to break it off before it gets to a stage where you are being, to a stage where it's Burn that like, bridge, yeah, this, and never look like, back. Emotion. Oh! <laughs> no, it 100% it is a ghost. So this from Aaron, and they've sent me this. What is this? Wait, design to support. 
Oh. I mean, would that work properly? Mm. So it's an earring back that has a higher top of it. So it kind of... I feel like it might make some of your earrings like stick out though, like really far forward. I mean, I love the fact that people just don't learn, like maybe don't wear earrings that are like so heavy for your ear. It's still gonna go through your ear eventually. Like if you move or anything like that, it's still gonna put pressure. Like it's still gonna cut through your ear. I would always say, if you wanna wear huge earrings, get clip-on ones that you can make sure that they don't put a tiny piercing hole bar through your ear and it slowly rips. Like if you're gonna wear really heavy earrings, just wear clip-on ones. It's not gonna prevent the piercing from still ripping through your ear over time because you still have the weight of the piercing there. Okay, so this is from Millie and they said, just wait. Okay, so it's someone showing off their hairdo. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the, oh God, look at her ear. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, you can clearly see that this is from some kind of industrial because it's at the top of the bottom. I really hope you've managed to get this sorted out, my love. I, this looks painful. Like, hopefully it's all been sorted. I'm sorry this happened to you, but Jesus Christ, yeah, this looks bad. Like, wow. So, this is from Sinead and they've sent me this. Oh, this looks cute. This does. I love the, I love the pattern in this. Oh, wow. I wonder what happened to their ear up here. But this, the, gosh, this is really beautiful. This is a beautiful tunnel. Beautiful colors. I love like turquoise and blues. Absolutely stunning. And I love the swirly effect that's on it. I'm not sure what size this is. It looks like a, like a maybe 12 millimeters, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Gorgeous though. I love this. So what, wait, I haven't sent this. What is this? So this person's got a, what kind of piercing is that? A horizontal, or maybe, maybe it's just two forward, like forward nose piercings at the front. So, oh God, are they drawing a face on it? Da, 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 da. Oh, got little hands. Naughty, naughty mummy, little hands. Rare. God, sure, why not? Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, speeding down the railway. We're about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye. So I'm back for Jesus Christ, girls. Squat for Jesus, Jesus. Squat, squat for Jesus. Squat, squat. Squat for Jesus, and Jesus loved a peach. Squat for Jesus, to Jesus was a bottom. So, thanks for watching today's video. This has been a lot. That, wow, God. I just will never get over the 10 piercing in the lip and like sewing them closed. Why? I don't understand, girls. This video has already gone for way too long, so I'm gonna keep the outro short. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. A big reminder to come and follow me over on Twitch as I will be starting to do live reaction videos and just doing loads more live streams over on Twitch. Come follow me on Twitch, Rolly West over there. Come follow me, do some more shout outs, lots of live reactions, lots of chatting, some fun streams, candy tasting, lots of things that are going on there next month. So go over, come subscribe to me on Twitch. Thank you to my love, I'm out of breath. After doing all the jumping around and squatting, I'm out of breath. Thank you for, thank you for the patrons, my lovely patrons whose names see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a patron and an extra special shout out to my top tier patrons Rishi, Amanda, Miranda Hart, Athena Barrington, Hunter Portwood, Erin Grace, Jennifer Herman, Zoe Severe, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, I at Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steph Utek, Caitlin Wright, Ke Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are. <laughs> Delicious. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch other say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless. <laughs>